one of my relatives, a very, very distant relative, who suddenly recovered from a, a coma after eight years. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Whose was that? What the? I thought the kids were asked to leave somewhere. <laughs> I know her, I can do that. Anyways, um, point being, they recovered out of a coma after eight years and um, parents and I decided to go visit them at the hospital. Then when? Why am I saying them? Him. At the hospital. And uh, darn my luck, my parents went to talk to the doctor in the other room, leaving me all alone with him. And uh, he's lying there and uh, I'm sitting there. And I don't know what to say. I mean, I've seen him after eight years. He's recovered from a coma after eight years. What do you, what do you say to a guy like that? I mean, what's been up? <laughs> Can't say that. You know, what's been going on? You know? Let's catch up. So, we stayed quiet for a while and then I thought maybe I should update him on what's been going on in the world. And um, at the time I thought it was a good idea. But this conversation is that unfortunate conversation where I update him about what's been happening in Pakistan and the world. So it pretty much started off with me saying, um, anyway, um, last time, last you remember, who was the president? And he goes, uh, Musharraf, what happened to him? And um, I'm like, yeah, well, uh, he ruled for a few years and um, then there was his attempt to sack a judge which led to a movement by the lawyers which got later turned into a political movement and then they kind of forced him and asked him to resign. And he's like, oh, what happened then? So I said, well, he was, that's usual. Um, we don't have enough sugar. Shit. Um, well, we have a shortage of wheat even. Back in my time, weren't we like an agricultural based economy? Yeah. Are we still that? Yeah. Then what the fuck? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, well, that's just the way it is. I mean, things have changed over time. Um, security situation is pretty bad, and it's like, oh, like, yeah, well, there's lots of terrorism happening. Shit, that's bad. Um, you know, 10 to 15 deaths happening in Karachi every day. Like, really? That's horrible. Who's the interior minister? <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you tell me is that Nawashim's grown hair again. This <laughs> is like this is just too much for me. Let's just not talk politics. Tell me about cricket. <laughs> semis in the World Cup and he's like, who was the captain? He's like, Shahid Afridi. Shit, really? That's the guy who used to get out almost every year. I was like, yeah, well, he made it to be, he became the captain. Like, okay, and any matches happening in Lahore? Like, no, you see, there's this thing that happened in Lahore when the Sri Lanka team was here. So, no more matches happening. It was kind of a terrorist attack. And he's like, really? These terrorists, man, they've brought violence to cricket as well. I'm like, yeah, well, we bring violence to cricket as well. He's like, how? And I'm like, well, we call a free the boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> so then there was this whole uh, part. There was this whole other part I had prepared um, uh, about cricket, but. Um, since now I'm an employee of the PCB, yeah. myself. Um, yeah. Who are you? Um, end of the story. Thank you very much.